These chicken patties are flaky and loaded with a creamy chicken filling. Hi, you're watching Plating It with Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with ease. These chicken patties are my favorite appetizer, so let's get started. To a heated heavy bottom pot, on a medium heat, let's add 40 grams of unsalted butter. Let's swirl it around till the butter melts. We're going to add equal proportion of all-purpose flour. So that means we're going to add 40 grams of the flour. We're going to whisk this together and cook it for a little bit till the raw taste of the flour disappears. This is actually what is called a roux. Let's lower the heat to very low. To the roux, let's add quarter cup or 50 ml of the milk and this is going to help to loosen up the roux. Now let's add all the remaining milk and give it a whisk. Adding the milk in two stages is going to ensure that you get a lovely, silky, smooth bechamel or white sauce. Let's season up the sauce with half a teaspoon of salt and no bechamel is complete without nutmeg. So we're going to go in with half a teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg. We're going to add half a teaspoon of garlic powder and for a little kick, half a teaspoon of chili flakes. And to finish it off, let's add half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. Now let's give this a whisk so that the sauce gets well flavored. Now for a little extra decadence, let's add 45 grams of grated cheddar cheese. You could add any cheese of your preference. And for a little touch of freshness, we're gonna add half a cup of finely chopped green onion and half a cup of finely chopped cilantro. Now we're gonna give it a whisk and then increase the heat to medium. And whisking continuously, we're gonna let it thicken up a bit. Now that the sauce is ready, we're gonna add 450 grams of shredded boiled chicken. Now let's give it a mix so that the chicken gets well coated with the sauce that we have prepared. Now let's take this off the heat and empty it into a bowl. We're going to cover it with a plastic wrap, making sure that the plastic wrap touches the surface of the filling. This is going to avoid any condensation on the plastic wrap when it chills in the refrigerator. Now we're going to pop this in the fridge and allow it to thicken up and chill for about 3-4 to four hours because it's always advisable to use chill filling when making the patties. Now that the chicken filling is nice and chilled, let's start building the patties. To make an egg wash, we're gonna crack one egg and add about one tablespoon of milk to it. Let's whisk it together. Now we're gonna set this aside and use it later to seal the patties and give them a light brush on the top so that they get a lovely glow once they're baked. For the lovely flaky crust of the chicken patty, we're gonna go in with store-bought puff pastry. In each box, I got two 12 by 10 inch pastry sheets. And from each sheet, we're gonna get four patties comfortably. We're gonna sprinkle some flour on the work surface so that the pastry does not stick. Now let's gently unroll the puff pastry onto the flour surface. To get that traditional shape of a chicken patty, we're going to be baking them in a muffin tray. And for that traditional design, you would also need two cookie cutters, one 4 inch, which we're going to use the straight edge, and a 2 and 3 fourth inch, which we're going to use the curly edge. Whenever I cut a pastry dough with a cutter, I always like to flour the edge so that I get a cleaner cut. And while you're here, check out my holiday favorite playlist for other recipes which are perfect for Christmas. Now let's take the bigger straight edge round and place it inside the cup of the muffin tray. Just be very gentle with it because you do not want to take out all those layers from the pastry. These chicken patties can be prepared ahead of time and left in the refrigerator and popped into the oven just in time when your guests arrive so that they can be served up nice and warm. They make an excellent Christmas appetizer. Now using a medium sized trigger release ice cream scoop, let's scoop up some of that delicious chicken filling that we had made and fill it into these cups. Having the filling chilled is also going to help to keep the pastry nice and cold. Don't fill the cups up too much with the filling 
because it will overflow in baking. I'm just brushing the edge of the pastry cup with a little egg wash because this will help to seal the cap onto the top. Now we're going to place this on the top and make sure it gets sealed. Now using a pointy edge knife or you could even use a fork, we're just going to make a slit on the top so that the steam gets a chance to release. Now let's gently brush the tops with an egg wash and this is going to give the chicken patties that lovely glow. Chicken patties used to be my mother-in-law's favorite and actually today is her birthday and this brings back such fond memories of her. Now let's pop these delicious chicken patties into the oven and bake them at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. Then we're going to lower the temperature to 375 and bake them for an additional 10 minutes. Now that the chicken patties have baked well, we're going to leave them in the tray for about 5 minutes to just cool down before we take them out and plate them. Let's garnish them with some chive sticks. You could even sprinkle some cilantro or green onion on them. Oh my goodness! I'm so excited, so I'm going to go right ahead and give these a taste. Wow. Mmm! Hey, and before I go, if you're new to my channel or haven't subscribed already, subscribe. And if you hit on that bell icon, you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And while you're at it, smash on that like button and leave me your comments below. Thanks for watching. See you soon.